Yo guys, what is up? A very good morning. Welcome to a new Daily Market Outlook for the new week. So the first day of the week, Monday, uh, Mondays are always going to be a little bit slower than the rest of the week. So I'm just going to be keeping an eye out for some interesting pairs today. Not really engaging too much in the markets, but let's see if we can find some interesting opportunities because I do have quite the watch list, which I shared in the VIP community. So if you're interested in trading alongside me, getting trade signals and a trading algorithm, make sure to check out our website. Links in the description down below. Without further ado, we're just going to dive into this video and see what our regular pairs are doing. <music> So currently the dollar index is in that range which I pointed out last week on the daily time frame. So going in towards the 4 hour, what I pretty much like about the 4 hour is that we're seeing that ascending price action at the moment, right? So what I'm currently waiting for is for some kind of ascending wedge to form, potentially which will yeah, indicate that there's a reversal in towards the Mon Zone 1 and then potentially in towards the Mon Zone 2 before seeing that further upside move. So 4 hour I would love to see a pullback, looking at the daily, daily main daily liquidity is located over here this is also a major area of previous resistance so also support so i would love to see a dip in towards this region over here before seeing further upside so that potential ascending wedge or channel on the four hour could initiate a drop in towards that area of demand however yeah I'm not trying to call the top so yeah but what i'm just going to be waiting for is that pullback uh, if we don't get that pullback it is what it is but i'm still thinking that it does look good to form this pull back in towards that zone before seeing further upside so yeah that's a dollar index still looking bullish by the way on the monthly uh, and i'm going to i am anticipating that the dollar index will hit supply on the monthly time frame at around 97 uh, yeah high 97 so 97.7 or whatever it is or 97.8 so yeah that's that from the dollar index. So let's head over to Aussie dollar. So Aussie dollar guys and Aussie dollar is currently located on that daily 786 fib. Uh, daily structure is bullish, weekly structure is bullish. It's just the four hour that is still bearish. So what needs to happen from the four hour? Well, the four hour needs to take out these highs, change of character and then tap back in towards the month before potential further upside. Is that gonna happen? I do not yet know. We have a supply over here. So let's say we reject this area of supply. We could still see further downside. Um, yeah, that's kind of it. My preference would of course be for structure break because then we can trade alongside the daily, the weekly uh, trend as well. And then the four hour trend will also be in line with those two. So that would be a higher probability setup than trade it from demand over here, back up in towards the highs. But if we see rejection from this area of supply, we could still take that short, a little bit lower, but it is gonna be high risk. So take note of that. So yeah, that's Aussie dollar. Let's head over to Euro dollar. And Euro dollar is currently located in that area of weekly demand. Um, yeah, still not a big fan of the Euro dollar. Uh, as you guys can see, once we came in towards this region on the lower time frame, you'll see that we started reacting to it. So over here, we saw a reaction. Over here, we saw a reaction. But yeah, very minor pullback. Um, so it's still not looking like it wants to yeah, retrace up higher. But yeah, you never know. Let's say we form something like this, then we could still see further upside in towards higher levels. For now, we've just reacted to this area on the four hour zone number one, not even zone number two, uh, which had my preference because when I am looking for pullbacks, essentially, if we, let's say the impulse is from here to here, I at least want to see a 0.5 fib retracement, which we didn't get, which is kind of sad. But yeah, Euro dollar overall is just a very messy pair, a pair that is not in line with my strategy at the moment. So I'm just going to be keeping it short. We could see a pullback at any time and moment, but eventually yeah, it does seem that Euro dollar is going to start pushing in towards that sub 110 region. So yeah, let's head over to pound dollar. And pound dollar, guys. So pound dollar is currently looking bearish still for me. Um, we could still push up higher though. I would love to see a push in towards here. Let's say we do see a push up higher, then I'll be looking for shorts from these areas of supply. So zone number one, two, or three. VIP community members know when to look for shorts. Um, that's just simply what I'm gonna be doing. Furthermore, if we just quickly tap back in towards the daily, the daily is bearish. Tap in towards the weekly, the weekly is also bearish. Four hour is also bearish, essentially. So yeah, all the time frames are looking bearish. So you would expect for the downside. And that is also what I'm gonna be expecting from pound dollar for now. So yeah, let's see if we can push down lower. Um, it is looking bearish for me personally after this trend line is gonna get broken. So let's see if we can break this trend line today, then expect a further push down. If not, we could just start pushing up higher before pushing down. So yeah, let's keep an eye on that trend line. Let's go to Kiwi dollar. 
and Kiwi Dollar is currently located inside of this descending channel slash wedge. We have some supply located up above at the top. So who knows, we might pull back in towards there before heading down lower once again, then heading in towards demand over here at this white line at around 0 0.69479 before heading up higher once again. Um, yeah, that's kind of what I'm gonna keep my eyes out for. One, two, three, then further upside. So yeah, that's Kiwi Dollar. Um, let's head over to our last pair, which is gold. And gold, guys, I'm going to be waiting for gold to tap in towards 1827, towards 1822. Um, that's essentially what I'm just going to be waiting for. Pretty simple, not nothing uh, rocket science. Um, looking at the one hour, one hour is bearish, four hours bearish as well. So hence why I am looking for further downside. Uh, no real trades on the board for me, only if we start retracing back up again, then I'll look for an additional short in towards 1827. So yeah, that's essentially it from gold before heading up higher because I do expect a very bullish gold for the month of December. So yeah, that's all guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Wish you all a fantastic day and yeah, we'll speak soon. And if you have any questions as usual, make sure to join the Discord community. Thanks guys.